Hey guys, I'm Elzevane, and welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake. Where we last left off was that we basically made it through uh, parts of the roads into the Cauldron Lake. So we're now still going to Cauldron Lake. I don't know how far we are in terms of location, but we did try to manage to, or we managed to try to survive whatever was up ahead of us uh, in the... Sorry, I'm just looking around just to see if there's any secretive items or sorts. I do see some taken all the way over there. I'm hoping they're not going to travel very fast to us, but that hope is probably going to dwindle very fast, if anything. There's probably something over here. I mean, there's some bit of space here, right? No? Alright, well, I mean, I thought there was something, considering how spacious it was. <clears throat> and how it was kind of open for us to kind of go through. But yeah, I see the taking like all the, way, all the way down there. Oh. I guess they spawned some of them here. Oh, that guy's out. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, I see some other folks up here. There goes that one. There's a lot of burning. There's a lot of people like burned out, or a lot of uh, not a lot of. People. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> There's like a lot of like enemies trying to take, kind of like try to block our way through the area. Kind of assuming that there's nothing over here, but I gotta double check it. I know there's probably enemies spawning up as soon as I did that, where I just walked through the side here. Drove to the side here, I guess I would say, rather. Come here, buddy. There we go. I'm just hoping I don't miss anything, because I think that that's still plausible. What the heck is that? Is it a monster truck? Holy hell, it's a monster truck. What the heck, dude? I think the car is about to, like, go down if I'm not careful. I need to be careful with what I, how I'm doing it, I guess. <laughs> the, try to, the, the car is trying to get up to here. It's so sad. Yeah, the car is out of uh, electricity apparently, somehow. It's kind of weird that the car has to like have a limit to how... There we go. It's kind of strange how the car has a limit in terms of the lighting that it has. Like the, the whole part of it being like lighting. Thank god that thing kind of like stuck itself there. Oh god. Nope. I see, like, I know there's two other people, but I need to get this guy first. There's another person over here, I see. There we go. Boing! Out he goes. I'm hoping that's the last of it, but I highly doubt it because I hear some more... Some more, uh, noises trying to get to me. Yeah, I want to see if there's anything up on the top there. Because there's like so much space, and that's the problem. Is like there's so much like areas and room for me to just roam around that I'm just like scared that you could miss out or something like that. This is really, really, really it's really, really ridiculous, honestly. But man, that monster truck was really random, though. I'm trying to like examine my position here with all the other places here. I know there's a barn right here that's like light up like crazy. Nope, at least those two are out. I'll take it. Uh, there's a fire. They're like all, they're all prepared to like get up to me. There we go. Just a little bit of a nudge and then he's already down. Alright, let me get into this freaking location here at least. Let's see what's in here first. <coughs> Well, at least we got some checkpoint of some sort here. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's dying on me because I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to, like, uh... Or no, I was eating some spicy food, so it was just, like... My throat's just dying on me a little bit here. Wait, what... What's the 
point of this? Why is there like a little space here? I'm, I'm confused. Like I, I saw the flare and that was it. That kind of sucks though, considering that there wasn't much something there. Alright, well I'm guessing the point of it being here is the car, I guess. Yeah, I think this car has like probably more better lights or something, and that's why this car is like being lit up and stuff in here. Probably a way better car. Probably more indestructible, maybe. Like, it's much more, like, destructible to things, or things could just be easily destroyed with this one. I mean, there's no way in hell that this car would be over there for some reason and not be used in a, in a way that's, like, useful to us, I guess. Like, it shouldn't be, like, not useful at the very least. Wait, I'm confused why there's a road. Oh, jeez. Wait, didn't I not? I think the guy got stuck in the. There we go. I was like, the guy got stuck in behind the wheel or under my my front wheels, <laughs> for some reason. All right, let's go up here then. This guy is just like trying to chase. Why are you doing this? Why are you like this? Stop. <laughs> I think it's trying to chase after him, but it's like annoying as heck. All right, here we go. Oof. Come on, buddy. Oops, I messed up. At least that guy just like literally got hit. That's right, buddy. That's right. <laughs> I just keep bumping into him until he just goes down. Alright, we got the farmyard taken care of. There is a house over here, though. I want to see whatever... Oh, there is a thermos over here. I was going to miss this out, really. That would have sucked like hell, too. Better hurry before we get caught up here again. Can we go in here? No, we can't. Okay. Better hurry. Yeah, at least we didn't miss that thermos. I thought we were gonna... T I, I didn't realize we were gonna miss a thermos if we weren't gonna... If we saw that whole thing, that whole house thing. Is there anything in the backyard? It doesn't seem like it, so we should be okay, I think. Yep. Oof. Alright. Let's progress here, shall we? Oh, no. Freaking... We're... Oh, I might have messed up. I, I went the wrong way. Ah! The car and the camera. Oh, no. Alright, let's keep moving. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. I'm just scared because I feel like I would miss out something and I'm just gonna be pain. Be in great pain because of it. Is there anything over here? I prefer this truck though, because this truck at least has like a bit more force into itself. Yeah, I needed to check to see if there was anything in the back. And I think the car this this truck has a bit more better controls a little bit. Oh dear. There we go. Right, let me yeah, let's keep moving. There's no point in me just like heading back here at this point. Well, I guess they were trying to prepare me to just do this, at least. Kind of ramp up in there. <laughs> I like how they're just, like, hiding. Oh, dear. There's a freaking bus coming down. Uh, should I... I should take care of these guys first, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I'd rather just take care of them first, because they might chase after me pretty easily if I'm not careful. Where the heck is there... Is there, like, more stuff I can grab a hold of, maybe? Yeah, I'm just trying to see whatever it is that's around here. Let me go use this vehicle now, because this one seems to be running low on... On the health side of things, I guess I would say. <clears throat> I 
don't think there's anything over here, though. But I'm just worried that, like, everything I do is, like... Because you have so much, like, other stuff. Oh, dear. Oh, God, that one's flying off, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez, that was really close. That was a really close one right there. Yeah, this thing is, like, destruction like crazy. There we go, that's one of them out. I'm guessing the other one fell out, fell out to the floor on the bottom, I guess. So it kind of indirectly killed itself, I guess. Oh dear, what is this? Oh my god, again, really? Oh god. Okay, well, that thing destroyed itself because it landed itself all the way out there. Well, I'm gonna assume that there's really nothing out here, though. I mean, I don't want to, like, miss out on anything, but it's just... Oh, God. What did... What? Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm kind of confused why it's, like, letting me... Why is it pushing me like this? Oh, God. Why is the road paper thing, like, broken? Oh, God. I'm gonna have to run there, isn't it? Okay, screw it. I'm gonna run there. Yeah, this car is actually stuck on the road. We can't do anything. I think it's because of the assets. The assets for the ground is a little bit uh, collision-based. Like, there's actual collision that's blocking me from using the car further. But then again, we weren't far from here anyways. Um, Yeah, why not? I'll switch out to the shotgun because I haven't been using the shotgun. Additionally, my rifle wasn't getting any ammunition that it needs, so it was kind of... Sooner or later, I would have had to, like, drop it. Drop the... Uh... Drop the... Hunting rifle, because it wasn't giving me anything. Oh. These puddles are really fun to just get rid of, but at the same time, it's just, like... It's interesting to see that they're just dropping them every now and then. Like, you could get spooked by them if you accidentally hit, get hit by that. Oh my god, there's a lot over here. It's a lot more worse over here than the other side. Because the other side just had like a few and they didn't really take too much time. Alright, cool. Some flares it looks like. My assumption is that there's going to be probably enemies coming in soon. But we are getting closer to Cauldron Lake at least, I can tell. Because once we hit to like this kind of tunnel like area, that's where Cauldron Lake basically is. I gotta get rid of these because these things are gonna block my way. They'll bother me when I'm basically trying to just like walk through here without having to get killed. Yeah, because I wanna make sure that the Taken don't freaking block my way. Like, the Taken will probably spawn up and then I have to, like, make myself run around these things and I gotta be careful. Alright. Is that the end of it? Oh, dear. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, there we go. At least I got two of them. Oh, hi, buddy. I gotta be very cautious here. At least they're dropping ammo here and there, which is interesting. I didn't realize they would do it. I'm guessing they're gonna keep spawning up behind me, maybe. I'm full of ammo now, but there's a lot of explosive stuff here. Oh, dear. No, no, I want the other, other thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, dear. Oh, come on, really? I gotta get some ammunition in here. Oh, okay, that, that was that was that guy. Oh, there was one. I hear another one on the right side. Here. Oh god, dang it! Really? Screw off, buddy. There goes that. There goes that guy. Where is this? Hey. Okay. Nope. 
my goodness. It's like... It's like I don't even get a chance to, like, kind of just, like, take a breather a little bit. Oh, flare. There we go. I needed that extra flare. Right, let me switch up to the shotgun now because I'm getting heavy amounts of shotgun here. Batteries as well. Nice. Oh, God. There's a page of on the manuscript, too. Oh, boy. There we go. At least that guy's out. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> God dang it. He, he took the, the route behind the freaking uh, van. Or the, not the van, the truck. He took the round the roundabout way instead of taking the, the actual way to, like, get to me. That's incredible that the AI just chose to do that pathway instead. Alright, is there anything I'm going to miss here? I don't think so. I think I picked up all the ammo I needed for the time being here. Alright, pick up the manuscript here. And light. Thank you. There's like two checkpoints, I think. Yeah, they're both revolver ammo. Alright, cool. I'm gonna switch over back to the revolver since there's a lot of it. Alright, what is this? The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there. Trees shattered under the impacts. The earth groaned. It didn't even notice. Interesting. I like how he just mentions the 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 earth kind of like just doesn't care about what the hell's going on with them. Alright, let's take the vehicle out. Are we not at the Oh my god, we're not even at Cauldron Lake yet. Oh my god, not even close yet, is it? I mean we do see a body of water here and there. Oh god, another Verizon sign? Oh my god. I don't know what to say about Verizon, honestly. I don't I don't use their service, so I can't say how bad it is. It's just the egregious advertisements that is just annoying me a little bit, but otherwise I really kinda care less about what they have to offer here. Besides the advertisement. Woo! Bad driving. Bad driving terrain here. I want to try to explore this area a little bit just to see if there's anything, but otherwise I don't think the manuscripts is the care, like the, the scary thing of missing. I don't like that the camera keeps moving on its own sometimes. This is, it's starting to annoy me a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was at first, I guess. When the camera tries to re-centers your, uh, your view on the, in the vehicle. Yeah, like that. I'm not choosing to do that. It just does it on its own, which I hate. But I understand why, because they think that we're just trying to drive around with that kind of thing. But I'm, I'm assuming there should be an option to kind of get rid of that, like, re-autofocus of the vehicle. Because I know where I'm at. I know where the front of the car is at. I think that this kind of control stuff usually sometimes is good when it comes to these kind of things. But... Yeah, this is disabled. Auto aiming is disabled for sure because I'm not using a controller either. Yeah, they they actually don't have the uh, they don't actually have it. They don't have an option to stop the camera from fo refocusing in the car version. That should have been an option, I guess. But again, like there's a few things that I personally think that this game could have done better at. Like a few things, not too much. I mean, there's not a lot of bad things, honestly. But I'll talk more about it when we hit the credits, uh, if we finish this game in, in whatever time it is. Larson's Auto Salvage and Used Parts. Okay. Can I read the sign, personally? I think usually when you want to read the sign, you have to, like, be, like, up front. Like, really close to it, I think. There is a spot here that allows me to move past the truck. But my assumption is why is there so much open space here though? Okay, I'm sorry I'm not speaking but I'm just like trying to listen in on what the hell I'm hearing. It sounds like 
scary stuff still. But I do see a manuscript page all the way out here. What is this madness, man? What is this? Game? You gotta be kidding me. Why the hell is this so out there? So freaking out here, man. It's so freaking out here. Okay, so this is the only page that is off the beaten path that I can grab. <laughs> And I mean, I imagine these three when I go into Nightmare difficulty, which I'm not going to probably do at all. Because I, I'm, I'm too tired to go through the whole thing again just to do the thing. But I mean, I can skip the cutscene probably. Um, but at, at the same time, like, I imagine these three would be, like, all over the place in the big areas that we keep driving past. So I'm just worried, like, how bad that would be. In the end, me. Barry wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake... Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. Mm. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. <laughs> Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. Yeah. All this time I thought Barry was going to become one of the Takens. Uh, oddly enough, I also thought Nightingale would have turned into a Taken himself and like we would have to fight him as a boss or something. Because... I guess the expectation or the setup of, uh, oh dear, I'm, I'm feeling like I might have missed out a thermos out here, but it's such an open area that I don't want to waste time trying to look for a thermos out here. I mean, the manuscript was kind of like a detour already at this point, but the thermoses are way more, like, important to me because I've gotten more thermoses than I do with the manuscripts, but at the same time, you can kind of see where you're missing a manuscript or something like that i did miss out one but that doesn't mean much to me because i won't get the achievement for getting all the normal manuscripts out of the way um because i missed one of them but otherwise i've already gotten like a lot of the the thermoses and i'm kind of curious if there'd be more or some sort also excuse the the geology or the ge geography of the uh the map some of the um some of the mountainsides starts kind of like I don't know what's his, what what the keyword would be, but like, oh, there's a reading thing here. What the heck? Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Solicitors will be shot. See yard manager when you enter. I like how they give you a view of the map as soon as you read that. All right, well, we're going to take the car up anyways, because why not, you know? We're going to a junkyard, technically. Yeah, so the, the the terrain basically just loads into place, I think. That's the term that I'm kind of, like, not familiar with in terms of... I mean, it's not... Is it the renderer, I guess? Maybe? I think that's what it's called, maybe? Okay, let's see. Where is the thing that the guy is pointing at? Well, there's an actual thermos in here, but I'm scared because I just don't know what to expect. I mean, we can't really expect much here. I'm expecting maybe a fight, considering how... Right, where the hell is this chest? Because it's, the arrow's pointing at me for the chest. Oh, dear. Oh, God dang it. Come on, really? Just randomly changes. Oh, God. Come where are you guys? Come on, really? Just cheating, cheating your way through to get to me. Bye-bye. Man. Some cheap scares right there. Oh, there's another... Oh, no, that looks like a QA code, but it's not a QA code. It's like a faded away QA code almost. Oh. Thank you for all the stuff, Thomas Zane. Thank you. Thank you all of it. Thank you for all of it. I mean, we're getting a lot of flashbangs and flares, but there's no... Uh, flare gun at the same time which is highly disappointing for me i was wondering why there wouldn't be any flare gun stuff at least all right i don't think i'm not expecting any more manuscripts honestly but i'm expecting more thermoses resources uh like ammo ammunitions and stuff like that and uh what was the third thing yeah collectibles that are like not manuscripts but anything else besides that would be the thing I'm looking for here at this point. Hi, buddy. Oh, God, there's another one right here. How dare you, buddy? I mean, I could have shot the tanks, but... 
I could have shot the tankers, like the ones that are next to them, but then again, I was already flipping out. Like, literally, like, flipping out on, like, trying to aim at them. <laughs> oh, more ammunition? Oh, this is the freaking hunting rifle. Damn it. Well, at this point, I'm not really spending so much ammunition on shotgun that it's, like... Like, there's no point in me trying to switch out the weapons at this point, because I'm not actually using a lot of the... the big guns for it. Okay, let's check up this place before we move forward. Hey, flare gun. Thank god, finally. I needed the flare gun because, uh... Needed the flare gun because I needed to... Make sure I have the achievement for taking out enemies with flare guns unlocked. Though I don't think we'll... God dang it, how do I... Oh, the stairs is not even existent either. Really? I have to like shoot this thing, really? Ugh. No, I can't even... I can't even like... Knock it out with like my own like character collision. Uh, okay. Oh come on, I was close to it. I think. Oh come on, really? Oh gosh, this is so bad. Okay, fine. I'll just shoot it. There we go. Happy. God dang it, game. I had to waste an ammunition for that. All right. Let's get prepared for the shutdown. I'm gonna go and turn this thing on now. I love how this, like, this control panel is, like, literally with a window right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get Every die, people, stop. Stop just showing up out of nowhere on me, man. Jesus. That's really just out of nowhere every time. Why did I feel like there was more than just that one guy in there? Oh! Oh, jeez! Out of nowhere! <laughs> I heard footsteps, but I didn't know where it was coming from. I was like, "There's got this this guy he just comes out of nowhere through the walls. Oh, there's another one. I heard that. Okay, there's more guys coming in from the other side. Okay, last one. Stay back. Stay back, guys. Stay back. Stay back. Back, back, back. Back, 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 back. Screw it. I'll take the ammunition hits. Alright, let's get through this car. That was really funny, though. I was just like, where did this guy... Oh, okay, there's a guy coming at me. Okay, got it. <laughs> so stupid, but whatever. Yeah, at least we got that... Nope. At least we got those guys out of the way, at least. Oh my god, is that thing moving on its own? I can't see it when the movie the, the when the camera keeps moving back to its place. Is that thing moving on its own? Am I gonna have to fight that thing as well? Ugh. A lot of machineries every time. Alright, let me check this place out. Oh wait, I've, I totally pressed tab by accident. <laughs> There's gotta be a thermos out here, right? I also heard something turned or some kind of like iron metal stuff. It was like a screech. It's like, wee. It's almost like certain sound effects usually alert me to like what the thing is usually. Like what is the thing that's going to attack me soon. But I don't know. I like how they also decorate this place with more trash bags and stuff. Just, just to kind of emphasize the junkyard vibe. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, I think there's just it's just like an, an, like a small little micro place to just go through. Maybe there might have been a manuscript once I get to the nightmare difficulty, but again, it's like I don't know because I'm not gonna be there yet. Or at all. 
this ramp makes me want to go, but I'm just like, I see Thermos right there, so I'm just like, I'd rather spot out the area that I need to, that, that is, hasn't been visited yet to just kind of get to it. Alright, I don't know how many more thermoses is left, but I know that the next part of over, over here will probably be a check, not a checkpoint, but like a, a place to kind of like start a fight or something, because it looks like there's not much left in space-wise. Alright, let's go. I don't think there's anything else in here besides that. Check this little spot here just in case. Nothing. Got it. Alright. Or should I just end the episode here and then just leave this till the next episode? You know what? I'll just get I'll just, I'll just get it going. And I'll just try to finish the episode once I get through here, I guess. I like how they also blocked the one-way path there. Oh my goodness. Why does it seem like it's a trap here? Oh my god, we're probably fighting a bulldozer a bit. No, we're not. It's just super duper, like, sketchy because nobody's- no- nothing is happening yet. But... It's like... I was expecting something at the very least, right? What is that? It's a gas canister, I guess? What is this? Flashlight flares? A note? A, or a freaking manuscript, really? <laughs> okay, I Zane guess. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water. A sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Alright. Kind of depressing that he had to, like, gave out his heart just to get that thing going. Alright, cool. Um, I'm glad that we just went through there because I thought we were gonna fight something in the middle, like, before we even get to the to the end of this episode here. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode. Uh, hope you guys in the next episode or nobody minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can when I'm watching this. Sorry for screaming or yelling or getting spooked like crazy because I wasn't anticipating to get spooked like that, <laughs> like I did. 92% of the thermos canisters or thermoses are taken already. We got two more can pyramids. I don't expect myself to find the last two in this chapter unless it is, and that's surprising for me. Four more chests to be found, which is going to be hard to get because I don't know where the rest of the chests are. I'm pretty sure I might have missed one or two over in the last chapters. If not, I'm surprised. Um, we do have... 20-ish, 19 more kills to go with a flare gun uh, for the achievement, and I believe the birds are also at 200. Like, yeah, we have, like, about 200 left to kind of kill before we get rid of that whole thing. And then, of course, the manuscripts. I missed out one of them, as I said, so one of the manuscripts got missed out in one of the chapters. Uh, and one of, and maybe one thermos or two thermoses might be missed out on previous chapters as well i think can pyramids i don't know i highly doubt that i will probably be certain if i missed two or one of them from the past ones but otherwise and and maybe as well the signs the signs have like six more to go i'm probably sure that i'm gonna I, that i missed out some signs because i probably didn't look hard enough to find those signs either so a lot could be missed but there's still a little bit more of this game left to go through so we'll see if we'll find the remainder of all these things that we're looking for from here on out so otherwise thank you guys for watching uh hope you guys in the next episode again and uh yeah that's pretty much that Roz. Ah.